Um, but yeah, what we're going to do today is we have a news topic we're going to talk about, but per usual, we're going to sit here and hang out. Um, talk about nothing. Talk about absolutely nothing. Talk about how we're going to get rid of all our employees, that sort of deal, you know. Um, but yeah, just kind of hang out and have a fun time. Are we ready to read about these processes? I think too? I'm ready to read about them. Let's just see what's going on here. So, I was doing my normal, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, Elgato, Corsair, if you're watching this, can you send us something new? Thanks. All right, here we go. Today, we're going to be taking a look at these names that have a, they're just like ridiculous, honestly. Ryzen 5 Pro 4650G, which is going to be a six core, and the Ryzen 3 Pro 4350G. Why are they pro? I don't know yet. <laughs> but Renewal. it looks like they are going to be on par in terms of CPU performance with what third gen is right now, which for those who don't know, the APU lineup normally works like this. You know, you have the 3200G. It's technically based on what second gen Ryzen is based off of. But we're looking at right here, basically the gist of this article is the Ryzen 5 4650G is going to be a six core 12 thread. It's going to have a base clock of 3.7 gigahertz and a boost of 4.3, which I saw on here Will also. Monitor turn on without a graphics card. Well, monitor. I am building my first PC, but I need the Graph ICS card. <laughs> Graph ICS. Um, so it depends. I mean, it'll, it'll turn on even if it doesn't work per se, but you might not get video out unless you have integrated graphics. Um, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Back to what we were talking about. Uh, but basically comparing it to the 3600X, we have a 2% increase in base and boost clock over uh, the APU. So 3600X is definitely gonna be a little bit better. But in terms of a Cinebench score, I think it's like within a few percentage here and there. Um, so if you're looking at getting an APU that has the same like raw CPU horsepower as a 3600X for things like video editing or things like that, that comes in at the price point of a 3600X around 200 bucks with the uh, integrated graphics lined up next with the other APUs that are coming out, which are rumored to be a ton of them, which is kind of <laughs> crazy. Uh, we'll have all the way up from an 8-core 16-thread 4700G, which we talked about before, all the way down to it looks like a 4-core 8-thread. That seems to be <clears> the um, lowest core count, which is pretty awesome yeah, to see. Yeah, that is great. Um, and these are probably going to be like 3300X, 3100 levels, but hopefully they produce enough of these because that seems to be a big problem right now. Um, let's see. But yeah, it shows right here uh, in terms of multi-core performance, you're looking similar performance to a Ryzen 5 3600 with the 4650G, um, getting these uh, these Geekbench scores that were leaked. Um, and in terms of the Ryzen 3 4350G, uh, it looks like we're about the same as a 3300X, a slight difference in terms of single core, which is okay here or there. Um, but yeah, the the 3300X ones are going to be nice because you're going to get that APU graphics and they're going to be even more powerful in terms of slapping in a graphics card to upgrade in the future. Um, so pretty, pretty excited to check those out. Um, but yeah, no, I think these are going to be really exciting. It looks like a date right now is the 21st of July, which Wait. at that range, that is like really soon. That That's like tomorrow. <laughs> so if uh, this is true and we see an official launch tomorrow, uh, that'd be pretty <clears throat> awesome. Um, I can go ahead and say we have heard absolutely nothing. Nope. So, uh, you know, that's that's what's up. Yo, Christopher Yee, how you doing, buddy? We're just we're not important, though. What is this? What is this? this is this a pre-built? Better not be a pre-built. Is it a pre-built? Oh, dear God. <clears throat> well, look at that. Here. What is AED? Here, let me open it up on here. I feel, what the heck is this? Okay, anyways, kind of abrupt stop here, but hey, in terms of these APUs, definitely gonna be doing PC builds with them. You already know, we'll be doing some cool stuff with them, some mini ITX builds. I think a mini ITX build with this 4700G would look pretty oh, yeah. dope for a little workstation PC. <coughs> um, if these prices are true, these prices look pretty comparable. 4200G for 139. Thanks, um, guys. I am building your $1,400 build in H510 case. Nice. X570. Dude, you'll like that build. That's awesome, man. Enjoy it. X570. X570. But yeah, prices look comparable. I mean, I couldn't complain about these prices, and I think they'll make some good starter builds, and we'll see how they perform with the uh, Vega graphics they have on board for a starter system. So, Is Jackson single? Very. He's very single and ready to mingle. Yep. Do you all play Roblox? Yes, every day. It's, it's part of our team bonding. We go in there and we play Roblox together. <laughs> Posted my updates on my system today. Yeah, we'll check out setups on Wednesday. I don't think we have anything else going on. Uh, New Egg now will be Friday per usual. So, all right, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Go give him all the support in the world. Um, 
yeah, that's about it. We're going to start making some videos today, being productive. Thank you all for hanging out today. Uh, yes, chess guy, go say hi to him. Thank you guys again for watching. Cheer Throw up his focus. Yeah, that's about it. Peace. Goodbye.